Yeah, man, they are going nuts. So, okay, here, let's spray and pray. We got the ammo for it, so why? Oh shit! They're through the <laughs> the next one. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good, you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19.1, where we play 7 Days on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff to update you guys on. Uh, as you can see, it's day 21, uh, 1,600 hours in the afternoon, so we don't have a lot of time. Uh, but I have spent the last, <clears throat> um, you know, day and a half-ish, in-game day and a half, doing a lot of mining um, I made myself a, a steel pick because we found the steel tool schematic in the last episode. Um, so I've got ammunition and stuff cooking up back at the base. And then I thought I'd come back up to our, our new home site and just do a little bit more work up here. So uh, basically continuing the road uh, through here. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this through all the way out to the other side. And then um, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, just kind of keep on going and right down to the town. So we're going to come out. I got my um, house marked up on the hill there, wherever that little log cabin thingamadoodle is. So right about here-ish um, is then directly, <coughs> excuse me, south uh, or north if you look at this direction from the house. So basically near this stump. Uh, so I'm going to cut it all the way out to here because then, you know, we can just go right off the hill and continue going that direction. Uh, just to get down to the town. It's a little, it's going to be a bit steep, but I think it'll, it should be okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we've done. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go turn in our quest because I've, I haven't done that. And I noticed too, when I was editing the last video that I left a couple of things back at that last POI that I actually would like to have, like the nerdy glasses, for example. And there was one other thing too. I can't remember what it was now, but we'll go back there really quick and take a look because it's right close to our our place here I should mark that though so that is I believe it was this place here okay well we'll we'll see that when we come down the road and then we'll hop over and do our trader turn in go back to the base grab the rest of the ammo that I have make up and there's a couple things I want to show you there too and then uh, it'll be horde night it'll be time for horde night I got the horde base all upgraded and ready to go uh, so that's done yeah, this was the house we were in here. This was the house of safes. Man, there were so many safes in this place. Okay, so I think... I left... Did I leave some things down here? Yeah, we left some coffee there. Yeah, that was, that's what it was. It was the vitamins and then um, in here the nerdy glasses. Okay, those were the main things. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, shit. How did I miss that shotgun messiah crate? <laughs> I totally missed that one, didn't I? Um, I guess we could grab that. I don't really need to, but we will. Yeah, let's open this up, too. All right. We can sell that. Okay, I think that is it. It was, most, it was the vitamins and... The nerdies that I noticed when I was editing the video that I had left behind, so I wanted to come back and get those. Um, okay, so let's go do our turn in. Woo, look at that. We got some airtime. This is kind of a cool looking set of small little lakes, ponds over here. Kind of too bad we couldn't see that from our house just for the view but it's a little bit far away and or obstructed you know by the trees the one thing we don't have at our place is any water nearby which kind of sucks but it is what it is oh wow damn that's a, a nice find i think we're already wearing a purple chest scrap though yeah okay yeah that was a very nice find we'll just sell it and make some bank so yeah, tonight's Horde Night should be interesting. We'll see how things go. <laughs> I know, it never gets old. It never gets old. Uh, where are we at? Uh, we are game stage 60. Yeah, so this should be an interesting Horde Night. We got buzzards on the last Horde Night, so we're definitely going to get them tonight. Um, and we might even get cops too. 
Um, one of the things I have cooking up in the... Why did I just get the quest thing? Oh, we've got a quest at this place. Oh! This is a tier three, huh? This place is kind of dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do that later. We'll do that one later. Let's we'll just go. We'll let's get our turn. Talk. Let's get our turn in done, and then we got to get back and get ready for Horde Night. So we'll we'll do that POI in the next episode. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. So uh, I'm making more iron in the forge. Oh, I made a couple. I made another workbench too, just to double ammo production. Um, but I made another workbench in the forge. Uh, workbench to make ammo. Good. Oh no, iron. My. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I promise you guys. I'm just. My brain is not working right. Oh wow! Look at that. Damn. That's a nice reward. Holy crap! And it's a green one too. Thank you, Trader Bob. Um, let's take a look at your inventory. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Shots of legs show, sl slows your opponent. Switch schematic. Scope mod. Shotgun part. SWAT helmet's nice. Urban combat. Um, oh, yeah, that's the military boots. Oh, man, we need that for... Um, we're going to need that for our stealth build. We don't have a lot of bank on us, but we have enough to buy this. I think that's going to be worth buying. Okay, let's look at his... his uh, Weapons. Okay, nothing too terribly fancy. And then we'll just kind of take a look at the whole kit and the caboodle here. I really wouldn't mind getting some more steel. Um, or even better, the schematic. <laughs> okay, now that's all he's got. All right, so that also wouldn't be a bad one to have, but I, don't, I mean, if I buy it, that's it. I have any money at all left. And I wanted to buy some food. From the vending machine. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. I mean, that would be nice to have, but I mean, the thing is, though, is I don't really shoot them in the leg unless I can't shoot them in the head, you know? Uh, okay, yeah, whoops. Let's go ahead and Safe travels. just take his next job, and then we, we need to get on our way here. Okay, so... Uh, we got a f two fetch and clears, one's to the south and one's to the northeast, which is going to be, that's probably going to be in the desert. It could be anyways. Uh, or a fetch to the north. Oh, this one's really close. Yeah, let's do that I one. I have a dilemma and could use, it's rare to find honor in these dark times. That's not the house we just did, is it? Oh, it's, oh shit, it's the same house that we have the other quest from. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I guess we'll be hitting that thing twice. Okay. Let's see. We need to get back to our main house for the moment. Uh, so what I think we'll do is let's just go due north. We'll hit this road and then we'll, we'll follow it up uh, through here and then just kind of bail off to the side. Whoops. Uh, to get to the house. So I'll see you guys back there. Okay, we're home. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. So we got lots of gunpowder uh, making up there. You're done with the shotgun shells. You're done with the 762s. What are you doing? All right, I want you to make more forged iron at the moment. Let's get this red here. Oh, shit, I forgot to check the traders for food. Doggone it. Oh, well. Okay, let's put the money in there. Uh, we'll sell that, we'll sell that, we'll sell that. Let's switch out our um, sledge now. That was nice, man. That was a really nice... Uh, whoops. Um, reward there. So this guy does um, 17 more damage, melee damage, and 37 more power damage than the yellow sledge we were using. So we'll just... Put that in there, fixed up later for selling. Okay, let's put all that in there. We got a decent amount of stone going on now. 
Uh, what do we got going on in here? Okay, so we'll grab that to take it to the over to the forge. And I think I've already smelted all the stone in here. Okay, so let's let that continue on for a bit longer. And for ammunition, we've got... I think we're going to just turn the rest of these also into 762s for now. Because I don't think... Do I have any paper left? Oh, we do have 57 paper. Okay, so let's make a few more shotgun shells in here. And then, whoops, and then we'll make more 7.62s in here. Because we're going to shoot a lot of that stuff up tonight. I'm pretty sure we will. However, that being said, I do have, um, I made up, I don't know, about 50, 40, 50 pipe bombs. Uh, so we're going to use those tonight, too. And I decided to use iron bars again um, for the for the base, uh, the horde base. But I put an iron bar um, in every uh, every block ra rather than every other block, and so the plan's going to be that we're going to we're going to use our pipe bombs early on to kill a lot of the horde uh, until we you know until we run out. Plus we'll get a lot of XP doing it that way too, and we do have uh, we do have nerdies on as well. That's something I should probably. I should probably keep these with us so that when we do fat loots, we can pop pop them on really quick. All right, let's see. Where are we? Okay, what I wanted to show you guys is... Let's put... I like to use boiled meat for mining because it gives you the, you know, the extra stamina buff. Um, we are pretty damn hungry, though, so let's just chow down on some canned food. But I want to show you the mine, too, because I've expanded the mine substantially. Take that. We want to save uh, the dog food for uh, Grandpa's learning elixir. Most of this canned food doesn't give us a shitload of food, so we got to eat a bunch of it just to get back in a reasonable spot there. Okay. Put that in there. Let's put the coffee in here. And the red tea will take a thing of that. Okay, so yeah, let's take a quick look at the mine, and then we got to get out to the uh, to the horde base. So um, I've expanded the mine quite a bit, and I've also connected it to the uh, the main mine out, out that way. So we got a little bit of a coal pocket that I started digging there. But then this goes all the way back to you know where I started my main mine. And we've got lead, um, iron, and coal in this particular mine. So we've got a bunch of lead in here, you know, that can still be mined up. Uh, then we get into a coal pocket here, and then this goes back up to the surface. But then I have a bunch of iron uh, in this portion of the mine. And then over this way, um, right here, there is, uh, I have a nitrate mine. And I might eventually try and intersect those, I'm not sure. Yeah, if I'll do that, but uh, maybe. Uh, so basically, that we've got all of our, our main ores there. And you can see that I've done quite a bit of mining uh, and to get the resources, of course, that we have been using to make the ammunition and all the other stuff. So yeah, it's been a lot of time. Uh, in terms of points, we've had a few more points. Uh, so we are now at strength 6, an effective 7, which means the next points we get, we can max out 69er mother lobe. Probably sexy tea, because you'll notice I did decide to put even another point in that. I really needed it for the mining. And then uh, boomstick, uh, we can also put a point into, too. We might actually do this when we get our first XP point on Horde Knight, which uh, we, we should get, I don't know, we should get anywhere from about, I'd say, two to four points tonight. We'll just see how things go. We've got the Lucky Looter glasses on now. I mean, sorry, the Nerdy glasses, so that'll give us a 10% boost in our XP. Okay, so yeah, I think that pretty much gets you guys updated with everything that's happened off camera. I haven't done another uh, casual construction series because, you know, most of this time I've spent off camera has been mining. Uh, and I haven't done much more on the actual building of the base itself, of the house, except for that little bit of digging that we did. 
uh, that I showed you. Okay, so let's see, we got 43 minutes left, 37 minutes left on that gunpowder. And uh, I want to grab these because we still have a little bit more upgrading to do at the base. And let's just grab whatever other ammo has been made. And I think we're about ready to head on over there. I, I had to do some more reinforcing out here with just cobble because, you know, I'm constantly getting Zekers coming in here and trying to break in the house. And I had a group... I had a, a, a wandering horde that came in and I was trying to kill him here. And in the, in the meanwhile, a damn wolf broke through <laughs> on this side of the house and he was in my house. Uh, fortunately, I had finished with these guys, you know, so I could deal with him. But it was like, oh, my God. So he'd gotten into the house there. It's kind of funny. All right. Let's 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 just throw back one more can of food so we get that topped off and we don't have to worry about it uh, during the horde night. Oh, and... We'll just grab a couple more of those. See, this has six minutes. But it's still smelting here, so I don't know. That still seems like a lot. We're, we're, we're really heating this place up, so let's just cut that in half. Okay, so for, for repair kits, let's see. We've got ten repair kits. Yeah, that should be enough, I think, for tonight. Okay, let's head on over there. Horde base should be all ready to rock and roll. We'll see how she does here on on Horde 21, and then, um, you know, assess whether or not we want to try it for 28. I guess I still need to get that stuff upgraded too, but you know, that's zombies are not really going to be touching those blocks. Uh, I will get them upgraded eventually, but I'm not going to do that now because we just don't have time. Uh, to do that. I mean, I could, I, we have time to do it, but the problem is that it probably won't cure before Horde Night starts, so. Alright, so let's hop in here. And we want to pull up our wood frames. Uh, here, let's do this. Whoops, what the hell am I doing? Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so the bike's down there, ready for us to bail out if the worst happens. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get see if I could get a couple of these upgraded to steel, but that didn't happen, so it is what it is. Okay, so we got extra repair materials. We got pipe bombs. We got bullets. Um, let's just pretty much load up with everything here. Now, I'm going to want... We got to figure out our, our toolbar situation. We are not going to need an axe. We're probably not going to use the marksman rifle. We might use the sledge if they get that that far, but I kind of doubt that they will. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the hammer in slot one, um, so we can do repairs. And we've got concrete, we've got iron, we've got cobblestone we got wood so we should have everything everything we need for repairs <laughs> oh geez look at all the ammo we have we might end up shooting up a whole hell of a lot of it though okay so we got our three main weapons here uh, we don't need a shovel or a pick on our toolbar so um how about if oh, i should have grabbed some more bandages darn it hmm. okay well let's put pipe bombs we might we might as well put um the Molotovs there, we don't have very many, but we'll put those there, and then we'll fill these three slots up with pipe bombs. And the, in, if they it actually get close enough to where we can hit them with the sledge, then we'll, you know, we'll put the sledge down in one of these slots. I don't know that that will happen. Uh, it probably won't, but you never know. We'll just see how things go tonight. It could be, it could be nastier than we'd like it to be. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this iron, we've got, we basically can upgrade 25... Uh, more bars. So let's get these bars upgraded. And the reason I want to do that is because if we do happen to get cops tonight and they, you know, come from that direction, they will spit at us and they could take out the wood bars pretty damn quick. Oops. Okay, so now our cage is fully upgraded to iron and we still uh, can repair 
uh, have some left over to do repairs if we need to. Uh, we don't need this in our inventory, so let's just put that in there. Oh, darn it. Why do I have the gas in my inventory? What time is it? Oh, yeah, we got we got a little more time here. Let's get this in here. Um, gasoline. We want to keep the lucky looters with us uh, for loot bags at the end of Horde Night. We probably won't be using the crossbow, but we'll keep it with us anyways. So we don't really need this stuff in our inventory. We can keep all that in there for now. Okay. All right, I think um, these gonna these are gonna be our two main weapons that we'll use, in addition to the explosives. And you know they're still about half. I don't have a ton of repair kits. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually repair that because it is pretty damn low. But we're gonna wait on these and we'll just repair them as we need to. The more I think about this too, I think I am gonna put. Let's just keep our sledgehammer down here so it's there and ready to go if we need it. Man, that is a really nice sledgehammer. <laughs> it's awesome. We got to put a couple more points into uh, to uh, the sledgehammer skill that I can never remember what's called Skull Crusher. Yeah, Skull Crusher. All right, guys. Well, uh, we have about a little less than a half an hour before Horde Night, so I will bring you back when the, the Horde Night starts. All right, guys. Here we go. Horde Night 21. Will the old guy survive? Game stage 60 is where we are. They're coming from that direction. Oh, nice. That's a good way to start off the hard night. Okay, let's get our first explosive going here. What? How? Wait, what? How did that happen? The bomb clearly went inside of there. Oh, wait, something's not... Something's bugged here, you guys. Something is totally bugged here. That should not... I should not be taking damage. The pipes bomb is, like, way in the tunnel. Hmm. That concerns me. Here, let's take a bandage. Yeah, that should not be happening. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Let's take one of these. Okay, let's try this one more time. If it happens again, we can't use our explosives tonight. So you can see the bomb is all the way in there. What the hell? All right, well, I guess we're not going to be using explosives tonight. That sucks. Here, let's take a bandage. We're already through the first uh, block there. Gotta get this repaired. Uh, we got the next point too, so uh, let's put that into Boomstick right now. And we could probably start using our Boomstick. Yeah, they are getting through quick. I was counting on using the explosives to control the earlier part of the horde, but. That is just not going to work. So we're going to have to rely on our shotgun here. Oh, 
when they get um, up to the last bar or two, we can start trying to keep it repaired. Sure glad we found this pump shotgun. Big Mama's not dead. She is now. Another Big Mama. Yeah, that's very disappointing about the explosives. I don't understand why that's happening. It's almost like it's funneling the explosion back through the tunnel to me, but, you know, I've done this... Holy shit. I've done this design before, and that never happened. Was that a buzzard or a cop? Might have been that cop there. Okay, they're through to the... Next wire thing. Big Mama, get your underwear out of my face, please. Thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, reload, and then let's quickly do a repair here. As long as we can keep these things repaired, we'll be in good shape. We might as well um, repair this now, too, because it is just about all the way down. Yeah, man, they are going nuts. So, okay, here, let's spray and pray. Got the ammo for it, so why? Oh shit! They threw the, <laughs> the next one. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good, you guys. Okay, let's um give this one a repair. Yeah, those uh, bars don't last very long, do they? It is really too bad that we weren't able to use our explosives. Okay, let's do a quick repair. As long as we can keep this last bar repaired, we should be okay. Oh shit, copper rooskies. Two cops at the same time. Maybe even three. Okay, we need to do a repair quick, 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 quick. Thing is almost broken. Okay, quick repair. Actually, it's not doing too bad. Yeah, sounds like we got a buzzard up above us. We're gonna have to deal with him in a second. Just want to kind of thin these guys out a little bit more here. Okay, we we got to stop and do a repair. Actually, it's not in as bad a shape as I thought. Okay, where's that buzzard? Oh, you know what? The sledgehammer is kind of hitting him a little bit. <laughs> it is hitting him. Okay. All right, we got rid of him. And another level. All right, let's see if we can get a repair going here. Oh, yeah, it was almost down. Almost down. I mean, they would they still have to... Would have to oh, shit. Get through... Uh, all these concrete blocks too, but I would rather not let them get that close if we can avoid it. Look at those bags piling up. Did we kill the horde? I think we did. <laughs> I think we killed them, you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that sucks about the explosives, man. That so sucks. I wonder if... I wonder if I threw them in there and then kind of ducked behind here. I bet you that wouldn't make much difference, though, because it almost looked like the explosives were coming through the blocks. Ah, oh, man, that's too bad. Okay, well, anyway, we survived. That's the important thing. And, um... Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit touch and go there because uh, they chewed through those, you know, through those um, uh, bars very quickly. We, If we do this on 28, we might have to go to hatches because hatches are just tougher. You know, we won't be able to shoot through them like we were here, but they're just a lot tougher. Anyway, okay, let's put our um, lucky looters on. 
and um, let's go ahead and check it out. See what uh, we got. Look at the bags. Oh man, this is just crazy. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, iron pick. What's this? Uh, Timber some more damage to vultures. Oh yeah, that we will definitely take. Oh nice, an upgraded steel axe. Uh, don't know if that's better than the one we have, but we'll find out in a second here. Okay, some brass and some antibiotics, or I mean, uh, vitamins. Uh, okay. Decent stuff, decent stuff. More ammunition. Okay, um, let's eat this now, and we'll grab that, and then we'll go... Uh, put some stuff on the bike. Okay, that'll sell for a nice chunk of change. Get it fixed up. I think we already have BDU bottoms. What's this? Inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Nice! Okay, I don't care about that, but we'll take the other stuff. There's some steel. And we're full up again. Alright, this guy, we can scrap a doodle. Okay, let's just check the rest of them. There's a SWAT helmet. We're gonna lose... It's, it's going to have more armor than what we have, but we are, we're going to lose mod slots, so we'd have to look at that. More steel. And what's this? Robots and stun batons degrade 20% slower. Okay, and some herbal antibiotics. All right, nice. All right, guys, well, that is it for, for Horde Night uh, 21. Um, overall, the base did pretty well. I'm just I'm a little bit irritated about the whole explosion thing not working the way that it's supposed to. So, I don't know what's up with that, but um, we, we didn't use very much of our 7.62 ammo, so we got a, a nice little supply of that. Um, let's see, let's grab this here. We'll drink a, a yucca. Let's put these back on. I'm not taking those back. So, you know what I want to do is, I'm going to go, let's go do another test. We might as well go with this one because there's just not that much difference between the two and this one has a little bit better durability. Um, and that means then this one we can scrap for the parts. Anyways, um, I'm thinking maybe we could do like a little test, right, and see if there's some way we could get those explosives off without, you know, getting ourselves messed up. Like maybe trying to duck behind the wall or something. We shouldn't have to do that, but obviously it's not quite working the way it should. Let's look at something else here too. So if we uh, we could only put one mod on here, so we would lose our triple triple mod. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the SWAT helmet. All right, so let's just try this one more time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the explosive back there, but then I'm going to duck behind here and see if it matters at all. Okay, here we go. Nope. Nope. Something is just... That should not happen at all. Right? I mean, think about it. I've got several blocks of concrete, of reinforced concrete between me and that explosion. It should not be damaging me. So something is bugged out about this base. Ah, that is disappointing. That is really disappointing because explosives are a big part of the effectiveness of this design. Um, yeah, that's too bad. It really is, but I don't know what, you know, I don't know what else to do about it, really. Okay, well, guys, I'm gonna just, you know, do some touch-up uh, repairing on the base here and uh, I will have to decide if I'm going to use it again on 28. I'll have to think about it. Uh, if we do, we're going to put in hatches 
And, you know, we're going to have to just rely upon our weapons, our guns, and not our explosives to kill the horde. I mean, overall, it worked really well, you know. And the other thing, you know, if we luck out and come across a crucible, um, I could upgrade these bars to steel. So even if they do, you know, eventually break through out over into here, um, you know, they still have to get through like three um, steel um, quarter, you know, quarter blocks there. So that's not going to be a simple task for them to do, as long, especially if we can keep them repaired, you know, as we go along. But uh, anyway, all right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. It's not really much more we can do, so I'm just going to finish the repairs here. And then, um, uh, like I said, if we do decide to use this base again, it will be with um, hatches, fully upgraded iron hatches. And if we find the crucible, then we'll actually, you know, do it uh, steel. But we'll see. Um, I've mentioned this to you, you know, to you before. This isn't my ultimate horde-based design for this series. I've got something else in mind, um, but it's just a matter of getting to the point where we can start working on that. Which really means we're damn near already there because I just wanted to get the maxed out mining skills. Just trying to get the edge of this here. Okay, great. So now this thing will be completely upgraded to reinforced. Uh, the blocks all the way on the top are already upgraded. Looks like I got to touch up these bars too. We did take a couple of cop spits. Um, I only noticed one buzzard for the whole night though. He was a boss buzzard. That was nice that we found that 10% damage against buzzards magazine though too. So I'll take that for sure. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.